Facebook Live. We are Ecclesia Temple, and we are so grateful that you have took the time to look in on us. I'm the pastor here, District Elder Derek Sorrells, and we're so grateful that all of you have tuned in to us. We're here at 309 McGregor Avenue in beautiful Mount Auburn. You can join us. Amen. And come and fellowship with us. You'll be glad that you did. But our thought today will be taken from Psalms 3. Psalms 3. And we will uh, read that in its entirety. And we will also go over to support our text in uh, Psalms 27, 7 through 10. Amen. Psalms 27, 7 through 10. Then we'll close it out with a conclusion scripture, Luke 21, 26. Luke 21, 26. Amen? Amen. And if you would, amen, if you ain't disabled, if you would just stand for the reading. Yes. God's word a little bit here, but I think you can stand for five or six minutes. Maybe it won't even take that long. Amen. My thought will be taken from Psalms 3. We ask you to follow along as the Lord has given us this inspiration of impartation. Amen. Psalms 3. Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. Say not. Mm. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Yes. My glory. Note this, please, because the script, the text will come from this. And the lifter of my head. Somebody say, the lifter of my head. Lifter of my I head. cried unto the Lord with my voice. Uh -huh. And he heard me out of his holy heels. Thank God. Yeah. I laid me down and slept. I awakened for the Lord sustained me. Somebody say, he'll keep you. He'll keep he'll keep you. you. I will not be afraid of 10,000 yeah. of people that have set themselves against me round about me. You don't have to worry how many folks mount attack against you. If the Lord before you, he's more than 10,000 against, against you. you. Amen. Do y'all know that? He's Amen. more than 10,000 people against right. you mm -hmm. if God be for you. Yeah. Arise, O oh Lord, save me. Somebody say, save me. Save, save me. me. Oh my God, for thou hast smitten all of my enemies. He took them out. All of them. Smitten yeah. all my enemies upon the cheekbone. Thou hast broken the teeth. They can't even bite no more. They dogs without any teeth. That's an ineffective dog. Yeah. You ain't going to run from a dog that ain't got no teeth. No way. Amen. <laughs> have broken the teeth of my of the ungodly. Salvation belongs unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Notice that. Thy blessings are upon his people. Yeah. Not upon them that are not his. Y'all right. better grab that. All of that which... David said it is upon his yeah, people. Yeah. Amen. Turn to Psalms 27, starting at 7. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hear, O Lord, when I cry yeah. with my voice. Have mercy. Somebody say, have mercy. Have mercy. Also upon me and answer me when thou sayest, see ye my face. My heart said unto thee, thy face Lord, will I see thy face, Lord, will I see? Yes. Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou has been my help. Somebody say he's helping me. Helping me. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. O God of my salvation. Yes. Finally, we're just going to read one verse in Luke 21, mm -hmm. 26. Many folks are going to fall under this elder because they're not doing what we just read in Psalms, amen, 3 and 27. Yeah. Many folks today are going to fall under this. No, let it be you. Amen. amen. Wow. Men's heart failing them for what? Fear. Fear. Y'all there? Luke 21 and 26. Are y'all there? Yeah. Let's read this together. Men's heart failing them for what? Fear. And for what? Which what? For the what? Power of the earth shall be shaken. Folks are going to panic in the pandemic because they seeing what's going to come on earth. And you tell your, tell your neighbor, it ain't going to be me. Amen. Y'all may be seated in the presence of the Lord. It ain't going to be me. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, we stand behind this sacred desk. Now use us, Lord. 
take these lips of clay, Lord, make them into thy anointing and impartation unto the hearers. Lord, move upon the atmosphere. Send in that 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 spirit that make preaching easy, Lord. Anoint us all, Lord. Touch our spirit, touch our hearts, Lord, that we may conform to what is being spoken into our heart. Lord, we ask these things in Jesus' name. Let every heart say, Amen. Amen. Now we're gonna go backwards from what we read because I want to touch on this uh, Luke 26, Deacon. Mm -hmm. Men's hearts are going to fail for fear. fear. Why? Because they don't have no God in their life. Yes. Yes. For we that are, uh, that are saved, yes. we do not operate on what we see. Yes. For the Bible says the just shall what? Yes. And not by what? Science. What I see going along and what they're projecting, oh, the pandemic is going to sweep through. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's going to overtake us. Oh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Oh, folks are going to lose jobs in the thousands. Oh, the hospital's going to be overrun. Oh, 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 you can't even go nowhere. Oh, and all. Yeah. I mean, the sky's falling. Yeah. Some people, that's affected. But you in the house of God ought to say, that ain't me. It ain't me. It ain't me. Why? Because our confidence is not in what we see. Yeah. Our confidence is in who? In the Lord Jesus Christ, who has redeemed us from the what? The curse of this world. For our thought today, I'm not going to not do proper pulpit uh, <laughs> etiquette, but our thought today is lift up your head. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. Lift, up your head. lift up your head. Even in a pandemic, Lift up your head. We touched on this Wednesday night. I said, yes, uh, some of y'all need to practice learning how to smile again. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Some of y'all too sad. Yeah. And I believe it's because you sit at home and watch CNN too long. Right. Oh, nobody some of y'all listen to C-SPAN and show up don't listen to Fox. EBC. Ain't nobody talking to me. Some of y'all are filtration of negative information. Can I say that again? Some of y'all are the filtration of negative information. And you know where the, the debris is lying? In you. You get all of that negative information, and it's causing you to be like this chicken little. Everything's going to happen. Shaking and knees knocking. Come on. And I have a question. Where's your Holy Ghost? Where is your faith in God? You know, it should be named among us. Shouldn't. Being chicken and scared. God didn't create us with this power of the Holy Ghost to be walking around afraid. You know, what's wrong? I'm hiding from this virus. I mean, you protect yourself, but my God, y'all be wearing the mask in here. But I'm just saying, you shouldn't walk around, amen, 24 7 is worried about. The pandemic. Yeah. So the blood of Jesus covering you. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus is a covering amongst his people. Yeah. We should have walked around with our heads looking toward the hill from which cometh our help. Yeah. All of our help come from not Satan, right. but from who? The Lord. From the Lord. Mm -hmm. Satan don't want to do nothing but kill, steal, and destroy. Right. But I come today to tell you, keep looking up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Keep your head looking up. You know, I found out in my walk with Christ. The more I look up, the more I go up. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. going to help me in here. Yeah. The more I look up, the more I go up. Yeah. The more I look down, the more down I go. Yeah. The Bible said when he was talking about Jonah, amen, he kept going down. Mm -hmm. Every time he didn't do what God told him, he went down, yeah. down, yeah. down, till he went into the, in the belly of the, the fish. Yeah. Yeah. You know, a lot of us are like that. We keep going down and down because our projections are down. Yeah. But you know, look to the hill. Look up. That's where your help come from. Yeah. All of my help come from the Lord. I have made up in my mind, saints of God, that I don't care how bad it gets right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep looking up. Keep looking. Some of you need to try to practice that. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all need to get a crane and tie it on the back of your head <laughs> and, ele and let it help you keep your head up. Some of y'all walk around with your head down too much. Yeah. Even sitting here in church, family, whole time. You ain't praying. <laughs> you ain't praying. Your disposition is reflected in how you carry yourself. Yeah. Yeah. People that's strong in the Lord, they walk like they strong. Yeah. Yeah. Their head is up. That's right. Because they're looking for Jesus. Jesus ain't coming from the yeah. bottom. He's coming yeah. from the top. Yeah. Look up. Because he's coming in the clouds. Yeah. Yeah. 
The devil want to project all of your thought downward. Yes, yes. That's where he abodes. Ain't nobody talking to me. Well, I'm a, I, I, I made up my mind. I don't care how bad it gets. Yep. I'm going to keep looking to the hills from which come my heaven. Mm -hmm. In the life of a believer, our troubles sometimes come at us as a, in floods or in multiple situations. Yeah, yeah. In the scripture pertaining to Job, Job said it this way. Job 14 and 14 and uh, 1 and 4, 14, he said, Man that is born a woman mm -hmm. is what? Few days and full of trouble. That is the true state. You know, you can't go through life without trouble. Do I have a witness in here? Anybody here that has went through life without some type of degree of trouble, let me know. Amen. Because you are unique in society. I mean, if you wake up in the morning, your nose running, that could be trouble. Y'all ain't helping to me. Everybody going to have some trouble in life. Although the, our days are few, it appears that most of our days are filled with adversity. Yeah. Job went on to say, with this mindset, not giving up, he said, if a man dies, what shall he do? Shall he live again? Uh -huh. Shall he live again? All the days of my point in time, I'm going to wait for my change to come. Look, y'all, because it looks bad now, that don't mean it's going to be bad forever. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Come on. Amen. You ought to start praising your way to victory yeah. or triumph. Mm -hmm. You ought to praise your way from trouble to triumph. Yeah. Some of y'all get stuck in trouble and just maul there, just stay there grinding. Yeah. Instead of saying, well, this ain't going to be here always. Right, right, right. Somebody wrote a song, trouble don't last always. You got to have that kind of mindset. Yeah. I like what Evangelist said, no matter how bad it looks for right. her son. Oh, yeah. Hey, man, she ain't looking at where he at, but she right. looking at where he's going to be. Y'all yeah. ain't talking to me. God can bring you out of mock and the mind. Yeah. He can bring you out of the greatest mess you ever got yeah. into. Right. But because Jesus has a covering on you, a call on you, yeah. he can bring you to a place of peace, a place of rest. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to worry about where you are. And this is what Job, you know, I like the book of Job because it speaks to where we are as the people of God sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, we can be going along evangelists and they're doing good. You know, it ain't, it ain't bothering nobody. Living consciously right, yeah. following the commandments of God, mm -hmm. and boom, some blow up. Mm -hmm. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Something yeah. out of the east comes and hits you upside your head. You never expected it to happen. Mm -hmm. But you shouldn't let it rally you. You should stay steadfast in God yeah. and be unmovable and hold your position saying, God sent it to me. He's going to bring me through it. Yeah. Ain't nobody yeah. talking. Yeah. If he sent it to me, yeah. he's going to bring me through it. Yeah. You have to believe that where you are, even in the midst of trouble, mm -hmm. God is going to bring you out. David reminded himself that on several occasions. He said, in times of trouble, he will what? He shall hide me in his tabernacle. Yeah. And he said also, he's a very present help yeah. Elder, yeah. in the time of trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Where can you get that type of guarantee, Wanda? Mm -hmm. That in the trouble, you got somebody that's going to be there. This is why we should always keep our focus upward. Mm -hmm. And we should keep looking, listen, looking unto God. You know, Job, I was telling my daughter, I said, she was saying the interesting thing about Job. Job never lost his testimony mm -hmm. in all that he went through. Mm -hmm. And this is what I see in some of y'all. Some of y'all still get come to church. We know everything ain't going well in your life, but you don't lose your testimony. Yes. Deacon is little, don't lose your testimony. Yes. Hey, Amen. Don't let your, your situation take the words of praise out of your mouth. Yeah. Ain't nobody talking to me. Yeah. You should continue to praise God even though things ain't well in your oh, life because he's going to deliver you one day. Yeah, right. He's going to deliver you in his time. Yeah. You got to know that God is going to be there when you need him the most. Yeah. And you cannot allow the enemy to make you feel any less in God because trouble has come upon you. Right. Job did not allow his situation to make him change what he believed God could do. Amen? Amen? You should never forsake how you feel because in the time of trouble, God will be there in the, in the presence of you. Amen? Amen? Let me talk about trouble sometimes. You know, a lot of us, we have trouble, but we don't want it. <laughs> but it still presents itself. Is that right? Amen. Amen. I can tell you a lot of times when I'm, things are going well, amen, look like that's when trouble comes. Yeah. Do I have a witness in here? Oh, Look like when you got everything going your way, mm -hmm. then God said, well, it's time to test them. Yeah. You ain't no better than Job, is that right? Mm -hmm. Job was an upright man. Mm -hmm. 
He had everything going on. And then Satan came knocking. And God said, have you considered my servant Job? Mm -hmm. Some of y'all in that position, place right now got everything going on. But it looked like you just can't escape trouble. Mm -hmm. But I heard somebody say that today that, hey amen, trouble when it comes, it's not to destroy you. In God, trouble is to make you, to build you up. Mm -hmm. You know, when God comes to you with something, allow something to happen, he ain't trying to take something from you. He's trying to get something to you. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, trouble is good for us. Or oh, y'all say that like y'all wanted to say. Say trouble is good for us. You know, I was sitting down thinking from a conversation me and you was having at the barbershop. You know, sometimes y'all look at trouble the wrong way. Yeah. Ain't nobody going to talk to me in here. Sometimes y'all look at trouble as a bad thing. Yeah. But let me, I got news for you. Trouble for a child of God ain't like the trouble for a sinner. That's right. That's right. We produce in trouble. That's yeah. right. We magnify in trouble. Yeah. We become greater in trouble. Yeah. Go ahead and witness it here. Yeah. We mount up in trouble. We don't lose in trouble. Yeah. Hallelujah, Deacon. Yeah. To a carnal mind, they can't understand that. Yeah. Yeah. They don't look at it that way. They look at, oh, trouble is all oh, going down. Mm -hmm. Suicide. Oh, yeah. pills, yeah. drugs, dependency. Yeah. That's how they look at uh, their answer to trouble, but we don't look at answer, our answers to trouble that way. We, as sometimes, we welcome it. Mm -hmm. I don't know about y'all. Some saints that are mature mm -hmm. welcome it because they said, this is only a test. Uh -huh. And it shall not be this way always. Is that right? Yeah. God's going to bring me out of this sooner or later. Yeah. How many have been there in the house of God mm -hmm. and God delivered you? I got some testimony sitting here today. The doctor said no. And you thought it, some people, if they, wasn't, if, if they wasn't in your place, they would have lost their mind. But you said, okay, he brought me from that. One sickness, he'll bring me out of this. Mm -hmm. I'm always encouraged when trouble comes. Yeah. Why? Because trouble is good for us. And I've noticed some things here, and I want y'all to get it. Whenever trouble comes as the children of God, we're going to stay in this teacher mode because I got to do the Tony Evans now because uh, I'll be hooping to Elder Smith. <laughs> I got to stay in this teaching phone. But we're going to teach you something today. Amen. When trouble come on the people of God, amen, there's seven things you ought to look for or be glad to happen or happen when you go into trouble. These seven things are the most important things we should learn from our afflictions. Hallelujah, somebody. David learned it. That's why he was able to write this Psalms here. Amen. Psalms 3. David said in Psalms 119 and 71, he said, It was good for me that I was afflicted, that I might what? Know thy statutes. Now I want y'all to understand something. David said it was good that my son Absalom, which is what we're reading here, that's who he was talking about in 3, that I was attacked. And even my own household came against me to try to murder me. Yeah. David said, all of this was good that I was afflicted yeah. so that I could learn who God was. Yeah. You know, if you don't have no trouble, yeah. amen, you won't know who God is. Yeah. I keep saying that song. If I never had a problem, no. I wouldn't know that God could solve them. I wouldn't know what faith in God could do. Yeah. What gives you faith when you're going through, yeah. when you're challenged? That's what trouble brings to yes, you. Lord. Well, we're going to just go down these seven things because this is very important. A child of God should learn to have some patience when they have experienced trouble in their life. Trouble teaches us patience. Yeah. Amen. And from that, patience has its perfect work. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. Trouble teaches us experience. And then experience teaches us hope. Yeah. And through that, we get patience. Amen. Yeah. Trouble helps us develop our Fortitude in God. Amen? Amen. It teaches us how to just wait yeah. and hold on. Amen. Amen. Though breakers are dashing, though storms are rising in your life, you are not moved. You hold on to God's promises because yeah. you know God is going to deliver you out of that. Mm -hmm. I heard it said, it said that um, that though trouble, uh, what was that you used, uh, Elder, in the Psalms where it says about um, weeping may endure for a night. Yeah. Amen. But joy, what? Come Comes in the morning. Amen. 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 You might be going through a test now. You might be having trouble like crazy. But I'm here today to tell you, hold on. Amen. Because it's only going to be for a night. Yeah, Your joy right. is coming in the morning. Amen. And you'll be able to say, it's morning time. Yeah, and, you, morning and the devil thought you was done. And when he get done, all the smoke is cleared up. Adam Smith, you say, I'm still here. Yeah. 
I'm still here. Satan, you took me through hell and high water. I'm still here. You didn't try to wreck my family. I'm still here. You didn't try to destroy my finances. I'm still here. You didn't try to touch my children. I'm still here. Why? Because I learned patience. I know that if I just wait on God, he that will come, shall come, and he will not tarry. Do I have a witness in here? This is why we should not diminish our position in God through looking down when trouble comes. Just keep your head looking up and say, I'm gonna wait, I'm waiting on Jesus. The old mothers used to say, just yeah. mark time. Yeah. Do y'all remember that when the old mothers used to say that? Mm -hmm. When trouble comes, don't get scared. Right. Don't get to running. Yeah. Just mark time. Uh -huh. Hold on. He's coming. He's gonna deliver you. He ain't gonna leave you out there. Yeah. Just hold on. Yeah. Mark time. You ought to learn patience. And what scripture text is that? Second Corinthians 4 and 6, mm -hmm. where it says, But in all things, approving ourselves as ministers of God. In much patience and in afflictions and necessities and in distress. I don't care what comes on you, Sister Wanda. Don't be moved by them things. Right. Hold on. If God said He's going to deliver Sister Brand, He's going to deliver. There's no need of us walking around trying to show everybody we're going through. This is one thing the saints like to do. Mm -hmm. We like to walk around showing everybody I'm going through. I'm, I'm experiencing trouble. Mm -hmm. Do you know that's not a good thing? For you should come here with a spirit of edification. You should come here even if you are going through. You ought to act like you ain't. You ought to try to get a worship in the house. Yes. This is why we try to stress to you in our praise and worship. Open your mouth. Say something. Give God a praise for what he's done and what he's going to do. Don't just be stuck where you are thinking about your situation. When you come to the church of God, you ought to have a praise in your heart. Amen. God has been good to you just to get you to the house of God. Amen. Amen. If you're still breathing, you're still living. That is something to look to the heaven for. Come in here with your head up. Come in here and give God a praise and worship. Amen. The next thing, number two, you should learn. Trouble brings this. How teaches us how to pray when we experience trouble. You know, some of us never pray till we are in trouble. Amen, somebody. This is why God let trouble come in our lives. You know, so that we can go down on our knees and start being able to learn how to pray. We had something that we were teaching on last Sunday evening. Amen. The pure prayer. There's a methodology in prayer. Some of y'all need to learn how to pray. Amen. You know, you need to know how to talk to God and ask him for things. You don't just jump and ask, give me, give me, give me. You have to honor who he is. Yeah, right. You have to honor his sovereignty. Yeah. You have to acknowledge his uh, his goodness and his grace yeah. and his ability to provide. Mm -hmm. Amen. You have to let these things be said before you say, God, give to me. Amen. 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 And, then, and if you learn how to pray in trouble, you won't have so many of them. Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody talking to me. Amen. The reason why a lot of us have a lot of trouble because we pray an hour a week. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody talking to me. Amen. And that's the hour I call y'all <laughs> and ask you to pray. Amen. I shouldn't have to remind the saint of God to pray. Right. You ought to pray in the morning. You ought to pray in the noonday. Yeah. You ought to pray in the evening. Even when the sun goes down and then when you get up, you ought to pray. Yeah. You ought to pray in between them times. Mm -hmm. Amen. I was looking at this little thing. They said mother will take time to pray, what is it, four times a day? Uh -huh. yeah. They don't miss. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they ain't serving the true and living God. You yeah. need to tell me you serving the true and living God. And you don't take that time to pray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you want, when you're in trouble, you want God to move quickly. You want him to jump up off his throne and start saying, God, please get me out of it. But if you had to pray going into it, you wouldn't be in it like you in it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. If you had to pray before you got in it, you wouldn't be in it like you in it. Yeah. You know, and then a lot of people want to say, well, you know, I don't know why so much has hit me. Well, how much have you been praying? Amen. Talk to uh -huh. me in your church. How, many, how much have you given God? How much time have you given God in honor and in, in, in reverence to keep you from going through what you're going through? Yeah. Number two, learn how to pray. The third thing, saints, a child of God in trouble should learn how to give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. You know, yeah. when trouble comes, you should thank him in that season too. Oh, you should right. thank him just like you thank him oh. when everything going well. Trouble should teach a child of God how to be thankful. Even when you're going through situations, you give God thanks. Yeah. You always have a continuous praise on your lips. Y'all know that. You know, you don't sit up here and tell the people that. 
They don't know what I'm going through. They don't know what I've been through. They don't know what I'm, what's happening right now. But I'm going to give God a praise. Yeah, you know why? Because you make the devil mad when you do that. Mm -hmm. The devil think he's going to bring you down, make you look down, make right. your continence change. Just because he bring, God allows him to bring trouble on you, you got to defeat the devil with a worship and a praise. Amen? Amen. You got to open your mouth. Amen. Amen. And give God thanks and tell him, Lord, I know what I'm going through. Amen. It's not going to be always. But I'm looking for you as a deliverer to bring me out the other side of it better than I went into it. Do I got a witness in here? Yeah. Yeah. One thing that has sustained me, Elder and Evangelist Thompson, in the process of going through a lot of ups and downs, I'm learning how to be even killed. Talk to me in here. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm learning how to stay, as you said, Evangelist, content. No matter what happens in my life, yeah. digging this, I'm learning how to trust God through all processes. When it's good, I'm trusting him. When it's bad, I'm trusting him. Yeah. When all look like all the world's against me, I'm learning how to trust him. You know what this is doing to me? It's making me stronger in the Lord. Yeah. Trouble makes us stronger in the Lord. Amen? Amen. 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 You should learn how to give thanks. The fourth thing, here's the thing that a lot of us struggle when we get trouble. Because we think trouble is something that God sends in a way to punish us. It's not always... He sins, allows trouble to take place in our life. Job, he didn't allow trouble to go in Job's life to punish Job. Y'all know that, right? Yes, man. Right. He allowed Job, trouble to come into Job's life so that Job would learn who he was. Mm -hmm. And now some of y'all need a little bit of that in your life. You need a little trouble to come in your life so that you can learn who he is. Now, what does that say? The fourth one, amen, is learn how to obey the will of God. Ain't nobody talking to me. Mm -hmm. Trouble teaches us how to obey. I believe that was said this in our testimony from Amanda Smith. Obey the will of God. Trouble will make you obey the will of God. Lord, it's in your hand. Okay? I see what's going on. It's in your hand. Trouble will help you learn how to be obedient to the will of God. Amen. Amen. God don't deliver you out of all trouble. Ask some of these patriarchs in the Bible. Ask Paul. Hallelujah. Paul went to God three times, amen, asked for deliverance. And God said, as my daughter said, my grace is sufficient to thee. Yeah. Sometimes that's all you need in trouble is God's grace, yeah. which is sufficient to you. Yeah. Learn how to receive that. Uh -huh. God ain't going to deliver you out of everything. Right. Talk to me in here. Right. He's going to keep you in that thing yeah. till he's ready to bless you or he's ready to take you out because it's a teaching moment. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's a teaching moment. Yeah. Somebody said, I don't like to get taught like that, but amen. Sometimes hard love is the best love. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. You spare the rod, you spoil the child. Amen. Sometimes God got to let a little stick go, amen. spiritual stick go grow across our back called amen. trouble amen. in order to get us to line up with what he wants us to be. Amen. And you have to be like Jesus in the garden of the city and say, not thy will, but your will be done. God, I ain't prayed all day. Yeah. And I see you ain't moving this thing. Y'all ain't talking to me. I see this is my burden. Yeah. And God say, oh, you done woke up now. <laughs> you learning that. Yeah. You know, ain't no need to get mad at all of, uh, the pastor and the first lady because trouble ain't moved off of your life. You know, I've been going to church safely. I've been paying my time, giving my offering. You know, I don't know why God won't move this thing. Because you ain't learned. <laughs> you ain't got the lesson yet. You're going to stay in that trouble until God, amen, sees that you learn from it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You're going to get the will of God one way or the other, yeah. either good or bad, right. through trouble or through blessings. You're going to learn God's will. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Trouble also, number five, mm -hmm. it teaches us how to what? Suffer. Y'all yeah. ain't going to help me. I hope y'all listen to these down. Oh, I ain't, I'm sorry. I ain't giving y'all the verses. Let's go back up to. Two, because I like to give Bible references when I'm teaching, yeah. preaching. <laughs> teaching, preaching. Is that what I'm at, Lady Sorrell? I'm yeah. teaching, preaching. Yeah. Hey, Amen. I had the art of hooping. I've done that for almost 25 years. <laughs> I'm teaching, preaching. She said, that's what you're going to have to start doing, Pastor. That's teaching, preaching. So that's what I'm doing today. That's teaching, right. preaching. Right. Hey, yeah. Amen. Yeah. I got to go there now, Wanda. I told y'all, Tony Evans, if y'all ain't never heard him. Uh -oh. He's one of the greatest orators of the Bible, but he don't hoop one ounce. Yeah, he just talks the yeah. word of God. Amen. Amen. Two is how to pray. Amen. When trouble comes, teaches us how to pray. How is that? 
Romans, how do we do that? Romans 8 and 26, it says, likewise, the Spirit also helps our infirmities, yeah. for we know not what we should pray for as we are. But the yeah. Spirit itself it makes intercession for us with our groaning, which cannot be uttered. Trouble will bring you, teach you how to pray. That's right. <laughs> I heard somebody say, you don't know how to pray till you went through some trouble. Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody talking to me. Yeah. You, you, you know how to pray when yeah. you went through something. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. I mean, if you you be turning over rocks when you <laughs> you be crying out, Jesus! Whole neighborhood hear you. Trouble teach you how to pray. Yes. Hey, Amen. You be shaking the house. Yes, sir. Your kids be shut up, Mama. I'm trying to watch the TV. You be I don't care what you trying to watch. I got to get the throne of grace. Yeah. I'm gonna pray through this thing. Yeah. God gonna move. Amen. Ain't nobody talking to me. Yeah. I know it taught me how to pray yeah. when I. When I blacked out and started going down, first thing I said, Jesus. Yeah. You ain't nobody talking to me. Yeah. That affliction will hit you. You'll say, Jesus. Yeah. Until you get through that thing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Number three, it was about giving thanks. That's found in 1 Corinthians 15 and 57. Sing unto the Lord, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Psalms 30 and 4 says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory, through our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to acknowledge God, amen, in his personage or his holiness when we're going through trouble. Don't forget that. Because remember, he's the one that's able to deliver you out of it. So acknowledge him the proper way when you're going through trouble. Some people say when they go get this way, when they're going through trouble, Benjamin Thompson, they curse God. They begin to say, why are you doing this? So, God, you ain't fair. You ain't right. No, 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 no. You don't do that when you go through trouble. Uh -huh. You acknowledge him in his sovereignty because he is the one. He's the uh -huh. redeemer. Yeah. He can bring you out of that trouble. Yeah. So you acknowledge him in his proper position is telling, Lord, I still love you. Yeah. I'm going through yeah. My body is racking with pain. Lord, yeah. I still love you. Lord, I've lost my job. Lord, they're talking about layoffs. Lord, I'm still going to praise you. I'm still yeah. going to honor you for who you are because you're a great God. You are a provider. You're the Jehovah Jireh. Yeah. Come on, say. Yeah. When you're going through trouble, that's yeah. not the time to fall out with God. Yeah. That's the time to get closer to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And number four, we're going to go there to obey. When trouble comes, we're going to go to Job because that teaches us how to obey in trouble. He says, amen. If they obey and serve him, then they shall spend their days in what? Prosperity. I think I'm going too fast, but that's what it says. Job 36 and 11. Mm -hmm. That if they obey him and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Now, trouble, amen, should not move you from the blessings of God in your heart. Y'all ain't talking to me. You know the best time to give God praise and honor him is in trouble. Yeah. Because in doing so, we see examples in the Bible. Right. Amen. He's going to prosper you yeah. when you acknowledge him in trouble yeah. and keeping your head look, lifted up. Amen. He's going to bless you because you do, you're not letting your circumstances dictate to you your worship. You're not letting your circumstances dictate to you your praise and your honor to God. You ain't looking at your circumstances. You ain't looking at where you are, but you're looking at where you're going. Yeah. As Lady Sorrell said, we got a greater reward in heaven yeah. that is in on this earth. Oh, yeah. Amen. And oh, that's yeah. what we got to keep looking to. We're in trouble. It's all around. Amen. We got to look at where we're going, yeah. not where we're at. Amen. Tell your neighbor, well, I'm looking where I'm going, I'm not where I'm at. Come on, let's give God a hand clap. <laughs> so I'm teaching us again. Now we're up to speed. How to suffer. 2 Corinthians 1 6, D. It says, and whether we be afflicted, mm -hmm. it is for your consolation. Y'all ain't talking and salvation, talk which is effectual in the enduring of the same suffering which we also suffer, or whether we be conformed, comfort, it is for your consolation and salvation. Mm -hmm. Such trouble teaches us, amen, how to be at peace in God. Amen. Ain't nobody talking to me because I'm saved. I don't uh, view trouble like a sinner view it. Right. It's the end of the world in some cases for a sinner because they ain't got no hope. Right. But unless they got hope in Christ Jesus, we welcome trouble because we know that's not our final uh, destination in God. Right. God is going to bring us out of that trouble. Amen. And you know, through our salvation, through being saved, we address trouble differently, Elder. 
We don't get all nervous. We don't get right. displaced in our heart. We don't right. get confounded in our mind. Because trouble don't do that to the righteous. Right. We have a sound mind. Now. We have a mind with power and of love. Yeah. And of, yeah. you know, of, of a sound mind. We yeah. do not have to worry about chaos. Right. Because our hope is not in this world. Mm -hmm. The Bible says we're in this world, but what? Not, not, not of this world. Right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. That's why the troubles of this world will not get me down, yeah. Sister Washington. The troubles of this world will not get me down because I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. Amen, somebody? Amen. Amen. And finally, it teaches us, not finally, this is number six, it teaches us to have faith. Amen. Right. Trouble teaches you how to have faith. Yeah. Amen. Then we go to Hebrews 10, yeah. 23. Yeah. Let us hold Fast, the profession of our faith, not wavering. You know, a lot of saints, they good as long as they ain't got no trouble. Yeah. Oh, I believe God. God is a prayer answering God. Oh, God is great. God, yeah. oh, God is this. God is this. Oh, God is a blessing God. As soon as God opened the window and say, test him. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, where's Jesus at now? Where's my hope at? Oh, I got to go through all of this too? You know, I just came out of something and now I'm going through this too. The whole dispos disposition changes yeah. because a little trouble came. No, the same God that blessed you on the mountaintop is the same God blessing you in the valley. That's Ain't right. nobody talking right. to me. Yeah. You better keep your eyes up on the mountain, though you might roll in the valley. You better keep looking oh, up because that's where your help coming from. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Don't change your position in God because you're down here. Yeah. Stay up in yeah. your spirit, yeah. whether you're down. Stay up in your spirit and keep your head looking up. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap. And here's one thing I have to look at. This is the last one. You got to, trouble teaches you how to wait on God. Wait Anybody on have God. to learn how to wait? wait on. I wish I had two witnesses that said yes. Anybody know how to learn how to wait, how to wait in trouble? Amen. And the Bible says this, Psalms 27, 14, say, wait. On the Lord and do what while you're in trouble? Be of good courage. And he should do what? She just strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. When trouble comes, don't run. Stay still. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wait on him. He coming. He coming. Sure as your name is what it is. He's coming. Yes, he will. You hear me? Trouble introduces you to God. Ain't nobody talking to me. Trouble makes you build a relationship with God. He trouble how because you can't do anything with trouble, but depend on God. Amen. 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 And Romans eight twenty five support that. But if we, but if we hope for that which we see not, then we, uh, with patience, wait for it. Amen. Trouble will teach you how to, in God, it will teach you how to be patient and wait on what God is going to do. Thank Amen. You. It might be years coming. Thank it you. might be years coming. You might have to go through a lot. To get to where God wants you to get to. Yeah. That trouble going to stay on top of you. But I'm here today to tell you, don't look down. Keep looking up. Yeah. Come on, let's give God a hand praise. Yeah. And I like these, uh, Elder, to conclude that it says that uh, Psalms 40, uh, 46 and 1 says, God is our refuge and strength and the very present help in a time of trouble. I welcome trouble because I need a refuge. I need some strength. Did you hear that, Deacon? When trouble comes, y'all don't. I want y'all to look at it the way the Psalmist wrote here: that God is a refuge and a give and strength in the time of trouble. I want y'all to look at it that way. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Don't look at it as something that's going to destroy you as a child of God. Something that's going to make you, Amen, lose. But you're going to gain strength. You're going to get shelter, and protection. Because trouble has come to your household. Amen? Amen. He's a very present help in the time of trouble. Amen. Trouble also, amen. Amen. You don't have to worry about it being a long duration in God. Yeah. We make it long because we want it to be over with right yeah. away. Y'all right right ain't talking to me. Right 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 but in God, Paul said it this way. Amen. In 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light afflictions or what? But for a moment. Working for us, what? A far more exceedingly and external weight and glory. When this little trouble you're going through yes, down here, amen, it don't add up to what God has in store for you. Is that right, ladies? For real? God some, got something greater for his people. I can tell you that. If you just hold on for a little while and keep your heads lifted up, amen, he that will come, shall come. I like what David said there in this uh, 
Psalms here, he was saying, he said, he is the lifter of my head. Yeah. Amen. I'm so glad when I'm going through now. Yeah. Amen. I don't have, I don't walk, I, I really work, I'm practicing that, Wanda, that I don't walk with my head all down yeah. like the devil beat me and he oh. winning. I, you know what? Oh. I get mad when the devil is winning. I'm, I'm acting like he's winning. Yeah. As a child of God, you ought to get angry. Yes, you, you know how you defeat the devil? When he's beating you, you keep looking up. Yeah. When he's testing you, you keep yeah, looking up. Right. When he's taking you through something, you keep yeah. looking up. Right. Don't lose your integrity integrity with God yeah. just because yeah. you're going through a little something. Yeah. Keep looking up. Okay. Amen. Make the devil mad. Tell your neighbor, say, devil, neighbor. Yeah. Make the devil mad. Yeah. Keep looking up when you're going through. Yeah. Keep looking up. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, because it ain't going to be there. I mean, a lot of times, amen, when we're going through something, Hey man, we gotta kind of get flat footed with the devil and say, yeah. As Lady Sorrell said, you took your best shot, yep. but you ain't got mine yet. Oh, <laughs> but when I come at you, hey man, when I come back at you, I ain't coming alone. <laughs> I'm bringing everything, me and Jesus, and the power of God. You know, a lot of times, though, they look at us and they say, they crazy. <laughs> they ain't going through everything. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna help me. I, I don't want to go to him. Amen. And look at what they losing. Yeah. And look at what they going through. Yeah. And you sitting there with a smile on your face. Yeah. I heard a dancer say, she said, I done lost everything, but I'm not worried. Yeah. They can take it if they want to. Yeah. You know why she can say that? Because I've been there before. Yeah. If God brought me out, he replaced everything that was taken. Yeah. That's why I can keep looking up with things and getting getting like looking like I'm gonna lose. Yeah. I'm never going to lose in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, huh? yeah. keep looking up. Huh? Keep looking well, up. The Bible says, in the time of trouble, huh? yeah. he will have me. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't got to worry about if I got a place to go for refuge. Yeah. Yeah. In the time of trouble, huh? because I'm looking up, huh? I don't lose focus on my direction. Huh? Yeah. I can keep focusing on the Lord, huh? yeah. and he's going to bring me to a place of peace. Huh? Do I have a witness in here? Yeah. How many have had to go through huh? and keep your head raised up? Huh? People try to pull you down, huh? yeah. physically and mentally, huh? putting stuff in your mind, huh? talking about you're going to fall apart, huh? yeah. you're going to have a nervous breakdown, huh? that you're going to go into suicidal tendencies. Huh? But I stop by to tell them, huh? long as I'm looking at Jesus, huh? yeah. there's no devil in hell. Huh? Right. Don't make me bring my head down. Huh? Don't make me turn around. Huh? Make me give up my faith in God. Huh? But I'm going to hold on huh? until he bless my soul. Huh? Say glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, he slayed me. Yeah. Ain't nobody helping me here. Yeah, well, I trust him. That's right. Man, huh? I don't want to go here. But amen. Sometimes huh? when trouble comes, huh? I see you, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? When trouble comes, huh? Elder, you got me this way. Huh? When trouble comes, huh? glory be to God. Huh? When trouble comes, huh? I want to walk down huh? with my head hanging down. Huh? But I remember huh? yeah. what God brought me from. Huh? Yeah. Anybody can remember huh? what God brought me from. Me, huh? Huh? When you would die, huh? he said, hold your head up. Huh? So I'm here. Huh? I'm there. Huh? Yeah. You don't have to walk around huh? with your head hung down. Huh? Right. Keep your head looking up. Because huh? your power huh? yeah. and your strength huh? yeah. and your refuge huh? is coming from above huh? and not beneath. Huh? Yeah. I wish I had somebody in here huh? yeah. that knew that they know huh? that if you just keep your head up, huh? he is coming. Huh? He is going to deliver. Huh? Say glory. Glory oh, yeah. Oh, Lord. God, when I come, ha, this is what I love about Adam. Hey, Amen. When he come in the sanctuary, yeah, ha, yeah. he might not be on the mountaintop ha, every Sunday. Ha, but when he come, ha, he got a remote, a remote ha, in the back of his pocket ha, called <laughs> praise. Y'all ain't helping. Ha, and when he come through them doors, ha, yeah. he hit his remote. Ha, he might not be feeling ha, all the way. Ha, yeah. He might be, have went through ha, hell and high water. Ha, but when he get up here, ha, he hit that remote, ha, and he throw his hands up, ha. He edified the temple of God, ha. He tried to inspire others to keep your head up, ha. Some of y'all still sit there, ha. With your head hung down, ha. But there's a praise in the house, ha. There's a worship in the house, ha. When I look back, ha, over my life, ha, and I see where God brought me from, I got to walk, ha, with my head up, ha. Do I have a witness in here, ha? Say glory, ha. When you come before him, ha, throw your hands up, ha. Say glory. 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 When I come before the Lord, 
Yeah. David said, hallelujah, amen, when my enemies oh. came at me yeah. from many ways, amen, he said he'll lift up a standard right. against them and they'll flee, they come at me one way, yeah. he'll lift up a standard against yeah. them and they'll flee seven other ways, they ain't talking to me, man, yeah. sometimes when they look like they got an advantage on us, yeah. Omar, it looked like huh, when they got an advantage, huh, uh, advantage on us, huh, yeah. great God from Zion, huh, they you know they got you huh, by how you hold your head. Huh. Mm -hmm. Do I have a witness in here? They think they got you, Lady Surreal. Huh. Yeah. People on the job huh, running their mouth, thank you, huh, and they talking about you. Huh. Uh -huh. You know how they know they winning? Because huh, you walk around huh, with a defeated disposition. Yeah. Huh. You got your head down. Huh. But you can shut the devil's mouth huh, if they start talking about you, huh, running you down, huh, saying all bad and bad, bad things against you. Huh. Hold your head up huh, and walk right. Huh. You got some authority. Huh. You can say what you want, huh, but I ain't going to let you see me huh, with a down spirit because huh, I got a God huh, that is great, huh, that sits high huh, and looks low, huh, that has a hedge around me. Huh. I go in huh, the fire. Huh. Y'all ain't helping me. Huh. And I, when I go in, huh, to the fire elder, ha, huh? I will not get burned, ha, huh? why, ha, huh? cause when I go in, ha, huh? I'm looking up, ha, huh? for my deliverer, ha, huh? he's gonna come in that fiery furnace with me, ha, huh? he's gonna come in that fire with me, ha, huh? and when he deliver me, ha, huh? I'll come out, ha, huh? unseen, ha, huh? not smelling like, ha, huh? what I went through, ha, huh? but I have a witness in here, ha, huh? why, ha, huh? cause I kept my eyes, huh? on Jesus, ha, huh? Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, huh? yeah. you can't lose. Huh? Keep your eyes on Jesus. Huh? Because Jesus, huh? amen, is the one that's going to come back huh? and deliver all of us huh? from our afflictions. Say glory. glory. Amen. I'm going to close out. Huh? David said, huh? in our text, he said, who, huh? oh, yeah, uh, in Psalm 24, huh? yeah. 7 and 10, huh? yeah. one of my favorite songs by yeah. David, huh? yeah. it says, lift up your heads, all ye oh, gates, huh? be ye lifted up, ye huh? everlasting doors, and let the who? King, king of glory king come in. Huh? Who is this king of glory? Huh? The Lord strong and mighty, huh? mighty in battle. Huh? Lift up your heads, huh? all ye gates, even lift them up. The huh? everlasting doors and the king of glory huh? shall come in. Who is the king? Huh? The Lord of hosts, he is the king of glory. Huh? How am I going to let the king in? Huh? I got to lift up my head huh? and let the king come in. Huh? You're not going to receive me. Huh? You should head hung down. Huh? David said, I looked up huh? when the enemies huh? were all around me. Huh? I didn't look at my circumstances. Huh? I looked up. Huh? Who came? Huh? My strength. Huh? The king of glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Huh? That's what I'm looking for. Huh? The king of glory. Huh? He'll bring glory into your desperate situation. Huh? Why? Because I'm looking for it. Huh? I'm looking in a manner huh? that I know he's coming at. Huh? Some of y'all, huh? you turn away too quick. Huh? You look at your circumstances huh? and begin to doubt God. Huh? You begin to miss, uh, not have trust in him. Huh? But I'm here today to tell you, huh? be as little. Huh? When that challenge comes, huh? keep looking up. Huh? I dare y'all to walk out of here today. Huh? Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, huh? yeah, get your head up. Huh? Yeah, but the king of glory huh? is about to break something in your life. Huh? How many is looking huh? for the king of glory? Huh? Let me hear you say, glory. Huh? glory. I'm looking huh? for the king of glory huh? because that's the place he's coming from. Huh? The, so, the writer said huh? in the book of Acts, huh? in Acts chapter, he said, this same Jesus huh? that went up from you. Huh? It's coming back huh? in like man. Huh? You know they were looking up huh? because I know he went up. Huh? If you want to know when God is coming back, huh? keep looking up. Huh? And you can only receive him huh? by having your eyes huh? fixed on the prize. Huh? He is the author and the finisher of our faith. Huh? He's not coming from beneath. Huh? He's coming from below, above. Come on and give God a hand for it. Okay. We'll, we'll end with this text of scripture. Thank you, Lord. Please Thank tell you. your neighbor, say, neighbor, neighbor. neighbor. I don't care what you're going through. Okay. Okay. Keep, your Keep, your Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. The Psalms have said, That's good. The Psalms have said, Amen. 121, 2 and 1, he said, I will lift my eyes unto the hill. Mm -hmm. From whence cometh my help. Yay. Oh, my help. How many oh. need help in here today? Oh, oh, my help. Come on, y'all. Come on. Oh. All 
all my help comes from the Lord. The Lord. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to get it by looking down. You can only get it by lifting your head to the heels. Yeah. Yeah. Do y'all hear me in here? Yeah. Now, Wednesday, when y'all come in for Bible class, practice keeping your head up. Because Some of y'all come in with your head down all broken like the devil done beat you Jesus. two times. Ain't nobody helping me in here. Y'all looking like the devil done beat you up and down and sideways. You know you're giving him the victory when you come in here like this. Ain't nobody talking to me. You don't know you just gave the devil a victory. So he looking at you and saying, see, I got it. But you know what? He, I heard somebody say, I think it was Dr. King, he said, the enemy can't ride, the man can't ride you if you if you straighten up your back. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And if you know that you straighten up your back, you're looking up on it. Yeah. You hold it down, somebody can ride you. Yeah. Tell the devil to get off your back. Get off my back. Hey, Amen. You can get him off back looking up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we conclude with this. Acts 1, 10 and 11. Yeah. And looking steadfastly toward where heaven, heaven. as he went up, behold, two men stood by in white apparel. I just touched on it. Mm -hmm. Which also said, ye men of Galilee, why he stand there gazing up into the heavens? Yeah. This same Jesus, which was taken up from you mm -hmm. in heaven, shall also come in the same manner. Yeah. Amen. You know, I'm looking for Jesus. Anybody looking for Jesus? Yeah. The only way you're going to be able to see him is to keep your hand up. Mm -hmm. yeah. And don't let trouble we touched on that. Don't let your trouble bring you down, make you look down, make you feel down. Come on. The greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You have to practice positivity. Positivity is in a lot of your mannerisms. You walk around with a defeated spirit, you will be defeated. Do I have a witness in here? You walk around like you got it all like that, you'll be mounted up. You'll be mounted up. You'll be elevated because within your own consciousness, your body is speaking to you through the physical nature. It's telling you everything going to be all right. Amen? Amen. Come on and clap your hands for the Lord. <laughs> looking up, looking up. Yeah. Keep your head up. Yeah. If you don't get anything else out of here, yeah. practice. Keep looking up. Keep looking Amen. Up. Because God is soon to come. Amen? Amen. 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 And it ain't over till God says so. God, yeah. I don't care what the devil say. It ain't over till God says so. I know it's tough right now. I'll tell you this. This year, 2020 has been something. Amen. It'll make you hold your head down. Amen. 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 So the one that said, I'm so tired of this pandemic. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of it. Because it has discombobulated everything we do. It's worrisome. Yeah, yeah. We can't even be human because there's a restriction on this, a mass on it. Can't go there, can't fellowship, can't gather. Yeah. But you know what? Even in the midst of this pandemic, uh -huh. Juanita, we can keep our heads up. That's all right. Do I have a yeah. witness in We can keep our heads up. Let us start being an example to the world. They like, why is everybody over in Ecclesia is so happy? Because we know our redeemers live, right. and we know we are in this world, but we're not of this world. That's why our heads are looking towards the heaven. Because what we see around here is not going to be where we're going to find rest. No. We're going to be in our eternal way that's in glory. So I'm looking yes, steadfast God. toward heaven, because yeah. that's where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Amen. Do I have a witness in here? Amen. I'm looking steadfast toward Toward heaven, because that's where I'm going. Yeah. I'm not staying here. Mm -hmm. People that's looking at this is the people that's planning on being here. Yeah. Not me. I'm getting out of here when the rapture comes. Is there a witness in here? Amen. 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 So we're getting ready to go into prayer. Amen. We ask you to bow your head. Be gracious, Father. Lord, we thank you for the word of God inspiring us, Lord, to keep our heads up. No matter what it looks like, Lord, you have told us, Lord, to keep looking to you for which cometh our help. All of our help comes from you. And Lord, we know, Lord, if we take that practice in that posture, Lord, we know our blessings will come. But the, the right songwriter said, all good and perfect gifts come down from the Lord. Amen. And Lord, we're ready to receive. So we got our bodies and mind in a position of looking up, hands lifted up, that we may receive the benefits of God. Lord, we continue to give you the praise, honor, and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, church. Let's give God a hand of praise. <laughs>